What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, guys? Okay. Um, my kings, rulers, you know how to do it. Um, good morning from my side. Okay, the market is already looking nice, looking beautiful. Things are falling in places. Let's see how it looks like in the, the crypto bubble. Let's go to crypto bubble and see what's, what's happening there. Let's see what's happening. Oh, everywhere is green. This wasn't the way it was last time. I need to refresh this guy. This guy is red. Or just few. I caught Avax last time. So Avax is already up. 30% up. I caught Celo and Hex. Yes, I did this course. So but these guys were on my watch list. I guess I didn't I didn't give you guys this. You know, OMG, they were all on my watch list, but TRX, okay, I didn't give TRX. But Avax, I did, I did of hex. Okay, that's very beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to, to the market and see what's happening in the market right now. So looking at Bitcoin, these on a daily chart, and this is my own chart. So my own chart is a downward trend already. I have a downward trend for Bitcoin, so I'm not really going to be surprised if we, if you are going to have another dip. I, I, I won't be surprised, but there's something um, one of the community members said this morning, and David said that also on Twitter this morning. He said that who cares if Bitcoin goes to 300k? But the beautiful thing is that you should get ready of a dip, get ready for the dip, because if you don't get ready for the dip, when the market dips and you are still in a project and you are not out, you don't you you don't have any money to buy again. Do you understand? So. It's better you get ready for a dip. If you are hearing people saying that there is a dip, there is a dip coming, then get ready for the dip. Because when it's going back up, you have the chances to go in and join in the upward trend. But if you have nothing, if you have no money, if you have no USDT reserved, waiting for the dip. So when it dips, you have nothing to buy. So for me, my prediction for Bitcoin right now is 37K. It's 37. That's the next place. If we don't hold 37K, that means we are coming down all the way down to, to 32. Don't doubt it. To 32, um, 32, 30. I'm serious about this, guys. I just don't like saying um, things I'm not sure about. If we don't hold, if we don't hold this guy here, that means we are them coming down to these guys here. So 33, I, I'm giving my three predictions, 37, 33, and 29. Don't doubt. 29, don't doubt, guys. So this is the next target for me on Bitcoin. Before we can start making any uh, movement for any other thing, do you understand? So um, right now, the market is looking good. So be careful what you're trading out there. Be careful what you're doing, guys. Okay, so let's go back to the... To, to dominance and see what dominance is doing. Let's go back to dominance. Okay, let me check Ethereum because I'm hearing people saying back 300k and 30k, 3k, 3k, 3k. Yes, we're back on 3k, which is nice. From 27 after after the last deep, now we are on on 3300 and on 3100, which is nice. So for Ethereum, Ethereum will still have a leg up to 33. Yes, 33, 33, yes, Ethereum will still have a leg over there. Just like I said, in this time of um, of Bitcoin, altcoins are going to see a massive gain in this time, this few weeks. Altcoins are going to receive a massive gain. And today, get ready for my call. I have a few calls on what to, you should be expecting, just like what I did last time. And I'll make a review of most of the calls I did last time and see what we did. Okay, so good. Altcoins are going to have a massive pump on this deep, on this um, few days of greens that we are going to see before the next deep. So definitely Bitcoin is going to see a little bit ups before the, the, the deep. So let's see uh, what percentage Bitcoin can get to before the next deep. So uh, from, from, this, from this now, I just need a touch. I just need a touch. And my touch should be at 36K. 36K, let me say, uh, I'll be expecting that touch to come at 36K. 
for Bitcoin or just 36k, 34k. So 34k, take profit, 34k and 36k before we start coming down again. And coming down is gonna be really, really bloody, guys. So Ethereum, Ethereum, we are gonna see, um, I think I should be drawing the line so that you guys haven't seen it. So I can leave that line there. Okay. So you're seeing 33k, guys, for Ethereum, 33k. Uh, I don't think we are going any much further. Okay, let me just um, give one more. This is just like a random call right now. 33, 34k for, uh, I mean, I mean, um, 3400 and 3300 for Ethereum. So before we can start seeing our next dip to, to uh, the next first, first phase is 27, back to 27. And then the next guys here, let me see. What's up, what's up? Before we can now talk about coming down to this guys over here. It just needs to make a repeating of the history behind and the rest. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, that's for Ethereum and Bitcoin. So let's go for the dominance and see what the dominance is saying right now. Because the dominance I told you guys, the dominance is very, very important. We we use the dominance chart to know what's happening. So on the daily chart for the dominance, you guys see where the broken um the the trend for dominance, which is why the the market is uh pumping right now. And uh, last time, what really happened? Because what really happened last time was because of the food that came out from the China Evergrande, um, the, the, the crash down so bored. Apart from that, guys, now we are holding again. We are holding again. Don't expect dominance to, to keep dropping that much because dominance, let me go on four hours and see where dominance can go in the next four, four hours. So really, um, dominance is already oversold on, domin on four hours. So... Um, dominance might just drop a little more to, to 40 um, so but but right now this morning this this is a really a good time to to take profit yes this is really a good time to pick, take profit on it because I'm seeing dominance going back up and if dominance is going to be bullish that means there is going to be a little green a little red again in the market so which is going to um, if you don't break even if you didn't enter early, that means you might lose out on that profit. So for us, for those who are into crypto new, not for those, not for the YouTubers who have been in crypto for long, who are shouting bullish, bullish, bullish. All these ones who are shouting bullish, 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 everything bullish, bullish, bullish. Even those who are not bullish, they'll be joining them to shout bullish, bullish. You're, you ain't bullish and you're shouting bullish. I don't understand which bullish you are. So, okay, so that that's, that's, that's it. Let me just make my lines straight. In my line to be straight okay already we've broken the trend the trend is broken and I'm having a bounce on my downward trend I'm having a bounce on my downward trend so if we don't if we break this downward trend that means we're coming all the way down back to 40k on the dominance which is going to still help the altcoins and Bitcoin to keep flying and we are going to see a whole lot of massive um, gains on that today so the next one let me make a review on the last call i made last time which is avax i made a call on avax and this was exactly where i made the call and we've done how many percentage already on avax this is a massive percentage already you should have doubled your money like 43 percent by now if you follow the call i made last last time on avax you should have doubled your money like 43 percent at, at this current moment right now if you, if you say that you're going to take a profit now you should have doubled like for three percent so which is very good on avax i'm still seeing a massive pump on avax because with the way the market is going except if there's anything coming that is when we can just see a little bit right now avax is going to keep making all-time highs and the rest of that guys so watch out for avax avax right now for me um these on the daily chart so let me go back to to the four hours candle and uh, am I going to tell you guys to enter this AVAX or because, okay, so let's just wait for a retest on AVAX before you can, because already on four hours, I'm having a sold, is sold already on four hours. So you can just wait for a retest if you really want to go into AVAX now. So I'll just tell you to wait for AVAX on 
on 69, 69.59. So that should be that for AVAX. And I told you guys AVAX is going for 100. So yes, yes, guys. So we are all on our way to, to, to the 100K, to the 100K. So that is our, our, our way where we are going. So we are just waiting for um, this, for the market to keep him um, with good news, to keep coming in with good news. So that's all we need. So this is my take profit for AVAX. This first place and then, okay, guys, let me just come a little bit lower. So and here. So these are my two take profit for AVAX. Which is the first one is 100k, which is 99.6965, and the next one is gonna be 93 and uh, 89. So that's for AVAX, guys. Okay, so I have a new course which I'm gonna make um, very, very important. So you guys shouldn't mix this course because last time I posted it on the group, I don't know how many people entered it. So, but today already it's already making gains. So the first one, the first one is um, QNT. QNT, they have a news that is coming up already. So we already broke on the trend, which we are going to come back to retest. And guys, watch out for Q QNT. QNT is promising. Good news are coming in into Q uh, QNT. And uh, we're going to start seeing all-time highs based on the way the dominance and news is going to... If news keep coming in nicely, that means we are going to keep seeing all-time highs. Just like I told you guys last time, whenever... How to know a, a project that is strong, how to know a project that you should ladder in is the project that after the dip, after the dump, what do they do the next? Do they just stay down there or do they start coming up? So that's the kind of project you should be looking at. So like we have few projects that after the dip, they, they, they made their way up. So which QNT last time on that dip, it made its way up and QNT guys, I have other costs to make so let's just talk about the QNT so QNT is looking promising it's looking good right now so like already we've broken the trend and uh, let's see uh, let me just give one more line and then uh, so this if we break this that means we are going to see a massive pop we are going to start seeing an all-time highs so what we just need when we break this guy so just wait before uh, let this retest if this breaks that means you're going to ladder in back on this same target that we are in right now. So we just need, I just need a break on this one. Uh, just this current point right now, anyone who wants to enter at this point, you are free to enter. But for me, I'm just gonna tell you to wait. When we break, we are gonna retest back here, the 33, the 33.6.8. So you can ladder in at this point now. So we can start seeing all time highs for, for QNT. QNT is already coming in with a good news, which is um, going to help the market. So, which is very nice for everyone who's out there, who's looking at um, something good to hold. It's good to hold. So, for me, I'm going to put QNT in my holder portfolio because good news are coming in. Also, next one, guys, remember, QNT is going to be making all-time high. So, there's no really a sell um, point for this. Or let me just say, we are coming to the 500, um, right, 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 right. Okay, yes, we're coming to the 500 target. So let, let me just uh, place that here. But but actually, I'm not yet certain about these, but definitely if we are going to break an all-time high, that means you're going to come to the 500 target, guys. So which is going to be very good. So right now, wait on QNT. Let's break the trend and retest. Then you go back in. Then you go in. So that's that's good for QNT. And the next one we're going to be looking at, guys, is Lina. Lina, last time also, I also spoke about Lina on the, on, on, in the group. Uh, I spoke about Lina, and I don't know how many people but leaner so which is um and the next one guys is uh okay leaner 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 let me go to the daily chart and see what happened to leaner leaner is also coming with fundamentally leaner is bullish on fundamental leaner is bullish so and uh it has already started seeing it oh guys i'm i'm thirsty so it's already started saying its own um, red for the daily candle, which guys, um, Lina is coming with fundamental is looking good. Fundamental is looking good. So they have new partnership coming in, which is going to help them pump. And uh, you remember we are in keep true to make profit and not to criticize and not to, to, yes, we are not here to criticize. We are here to make profit. So who and who are making the profit? So that's what we're looking at. So right now, Lina, is having good partnership, it's having good news coming in, which everyone, this is very low right now for Lina. This is very low. So when you come into Lina, I guess you should just put your um, stop loss just down here, just give her 
and that does 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 here. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So 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 for Lina guys, for Lina guys, I'm just going to go to the four hours candle and see what what's happening in the four hours candle. So on the four hours candle. I'm seeing us to testing back here. Hmm. So Lina actually guys is bullish. So so Lina is bullish at this at this particular moment. Let me just use my folk tool and see and see the 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 trend the, the side which we are going for for this guy. So let me see something at these targets. Which targets should I use right now? Hmm. Okay. Let me use this one here here and here so so how does this look like moment let me draw my chart very well okay so for me lena <laughs> is a little bit looking uh, okay, hold on. Just let me know. Let me not say. Let me not say yet. Let me use the original. Original is looking bullish. How many retails do I have there? Mm hmm. Let me go for um, just a moment, guys. A moment, guys. This is really a tricky tool. You have to be smart on this one so that you don't miss out. Okay. Okay. So let me use the modify. Modify is bearish, so we are still playing on the green. On the green, on the first green, guys. Let me see on the inside. The inside, uh, okay. No, I don't want to use this. I don't want to use it. I don't think that's cool. Okay, I think Lina is bullish on this on this target, so that means we're gonna come to this target on Lina from this particular point. We're gonna come to um. Yes, 27. Lina is coming to the 27s. And uh, so, but, but let me just, for this one, I'm just waiting for you. If it breaks my green trend, my green line, that means we are going to come down to retest um, the 22, the, the, the 22, 23. That means if we break this green, that means we're going to come down to retest it. But if we don't, we're going to, so, but. Um, generally, generally, Lina is bullish on this. Does this my this my target for Lina? Um, this my chart for Lina. That means we are going to break this trend, guys. We're going to start making all time highs also on Lina, so which is going to be very good for anyone who's looking at. So Lina, guys, is the next one that you you all should look at for. So the next one I want to make is I just got that this morning. So one, how many one is a project that you guys should also be looking at for? How many is gonna make really, 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 really? So for me, this is just like it's trying to create. We're gonna just come a little bit down, then make the cup and handle. But even though this is not a perfect shape of a cup, but it's just looking like a mountain, and uh, we already have our valley. We're making another push up. So for for one harmony, it's looking it's looking uh, it's also looking promising. Let's go on a daily chart and see. But generally, guys, generally, guys, you all know that the word that is keeping us strongly is the is the dominance. Just like I said today, this week, that we might see another red this week because by the way the dominance is looking at, it's not really promising. And with the way the guys are always bringing up news, 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 this, and it's like hitting the market. But all I know is that guys have some money down have some money down use the stop loss have some money down so that whenever they just wait for the deep because there's going to be another deep and if there's no deep you have nothing to lose you can still join back you have nothing to lose guys if there's no deep and you see that okay we are making our ways back up you can join but if you don't if you join now and there is if you don't have any reserve of money back and we we experience another deep that means you're out so it's good to be to be the smart one have some money back and uh, wait for the deep, you know, so that whenever the deep comes in, you can now say, yes, I got the deep. So that's very good. So for for one harmony, I think this is looking nice. But the break, we broke that trend. And uh, this is really like, I'll say bye, guys. I'll say bye. This is on a daily chart. Let me go on the four hours chart and see. 
what's in the four hours charts and see what's in the four hours charts uh-huh okay on the four hours charts uh, this is what we have on the four hours chart a few moments let me just short this line very well guys my system is i9 but i don't know why it's hanging do you, any of you have any idea why this system is hanging like it's lagging it's lagging like this but this i9 this i9 and uh, it's still hanging like that any idea why okay we already touched the deep for one harmony so now the next thing we need on one harmony is news so news now takes us to the next target which is going to be bullish for us on one harmony guys so nice harmony let's see the buy back you remember leaner um qnt leaner one harmony these guys have fun they are fundamentally strong at the moment fundamentally strong so watch out for them um so we're gonna have some retest for one harmony before we make our way we but if you are if you're gonna hold for long that means you can even though if you buy now it's not bad so but for one harmony we're gonna have a retest because on the four hours already already have a buy a, a big sell on the four hours so i'm just waiting for for this but if we don't, that means we're going to come back down to this trend to retest this, this 0, 01. This 0, 01, that means we're going to come down to 0, 0 0.102. Zero we're going to come down to this target and uh, yes, that's it. So which is going to be um, here. Okay. Well, we might even come a little bit lower, but, 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 but that's it. So that's it for how many. So how many is fundamentally fundamentally guys thank you for that fundamentally bullish we are fundamentally bullish on harmony and the next one guys my favorite let me not say my favorite so that people don't think i'm just like taking it aside so i told you guys about hex 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 guys don't joke with hex hex is fundamentally bullish hex is fundamentally bullish technically bullish all around bullish 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 for hex so we're going to keep printing new highs on hex on hex so which is going to be for my for me for hex there is no much target for me i'm just like gonna ladder in at any points just be adding more bags for 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 this one so the next one guys is um which one omg 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 guys let me just chat omg i don't no fundamentals for this one no fundamentals for this one guy it's just going to be technicals all true for omg is looking good guys OMG well, is looking good. So breaking the trend already is, is, is it's a good news for, for, for OMG. Breaking this trend already. Okay. OMG breaking this trend already is a good news for it. So this is just like a retest. So I will say you guys, ladder in on this one. And your take profit should be on 12.4. Next take profit should be on 11.1. 11.17 11 that should be your two take profit for this then for those who want to hold for longer you can still come back to the 14 target 14 and 15 target before we can start making our new autumn highs for for omg and omg is going to be a 20 dollar uh, project like in this season that we're in so we're going to see 20 dollar for omg so which is going to be like a very good target for for so we just need more news on the OMG because fundament and um, technically it's looking good and bullish. So we just need um, um news to 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 put us back there and dominance to hold stronger. So the next one I want to look at here, guys, is SLP small portion love. Small portion love has been down for long. So which is guys, don't joke with this. Don't joke with it. This is built under the Axe uh, blockchain, which is gonna look um which um what. I think it was used for fees it's it's being used for fees and the rest of that so you guys should um watch out for this watch out for this small portion i have some bags of it and uh, it's looking bullish to me already this is just like when you just bought in at the ideal so just imagine you bought in at the ideal and we are going to have a, a massive pump again so this 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 looking good guys this looking good guys so for me small portion love is one of my coins my one of my favorite coins i'm just going to put it in my favorite list and um yes guys just buy and hold for 
for SLP. That is it. And the last one for today is Tron. Tron, yes, Tron, not really much on Tron, but Tron is also looking bullish, 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 bullish. So Tron is also looking bullish, guys. So we just need the Bitcoin to keep holding stronger. Let's see the target for Tron. Actually, I don't sell my Tron like now. I'm not selling my Tron at this moment. And okay, this is like really a good, a good hit. This is a good hit for Tron. Technically, this is a good hit for Tron. So let's go to the four hours candle and see what's happening there. Okay, on the four hours candle. Okay, it seems like we are just going to test these guys. So two, two buying points for, for Tron. Two buying tr points for Tron. Um, buying back at the 0 0.0956. Then we can now push up to take profit at uh, you take profit your first take profit should be um 0 0.10 yes second take profit should be here 0 0.114 very important so how many percentage from here let's see how many percentage at this current price right now the first percentage is five percent and the next one is 15 percent up then if tron if tron 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 is really gonna make a good a good move so we're gonna start a scene also we're gonna also experience an all-time highs for tron tron is really gonna make massive gain also so which is nice guys so guys this is this is just it for today this is just it for today if you are not on my group just come in on telegram go to ruboy crypto ruba crypto group and join the group join the conversation that's happening there and also you can follow me on twitter at RU underscore SHED. You can also follow the group on Twitter at Ruboy Crypto on Twitter. If you have not subscribed on the channel, guys, just hit the subscribe button, share the video. You guys are the rulers here. You guys, you guys are the rulers. Yes, you are the one that is making the market to trend. With, without you in this market, this market is nothing. So actually, you guys are the market makers. That's what I call you guys. You are the market makers in this in this business. So trade safe, guys. Trade safe, guys. And and uh Keep some money for the deep get ready for the deep again we're gonna let me just a quick last one for for dominance quick last one for dominance i told you guys the dominance is looking bearish so we have two points for dominance we are either going to come down to the 40 40.59 or from here we're going to make ourselves back or oh, but at this period that we are in we're going to experience some uh bullish for the altcoins the altcoins are really going to experience some bullish so before any next move so guys be safe out there ciao